sugar. Give me sugar and water. More. More. Oh yeah! Is that Stick around. Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. And yes, this is again a series of n other random reviews where I review uh, you. Know, so, yeah, this time in the build up to Men in Black International, I thought I would revisit and re review. Well, just review because I don't think I've reviewed, I can't ever recall reviewing them on my channel. Men in Black. Yes, Men in Black. That is direct, which is, um, which is directed by uh, Barry uh, Sonnenfield uh, and written by Ed uh, Solon, Solomon, uh, starring, um, well, obviously starring Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith, uh, Linda Florit. I can't pronounce the name. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio and Tom Rip. Uh, hang on, Rip Torn. Sorry, where did that come from? Tom Rip, uh, Rip Torn. Uh, so this is a sci-fi comedy uh, about uh, the Men in Black. Um, you know, detective um, Jay, played by Will Smith. Um, you know, on a case finds there's some more. Finds that man discovers man is not alone and then he's recruited by Agent K, played by Tommy Lee Jones, uh, to be in the Men in Black. He trains, he gets recruited, he becomes part of the team as a new recruit. And um, along the way, there, um, a giant alien insect comes down to Earth, and these other alien creatures want it back and are threatening Earth if he doesn't. Uh, if they don't co if humans don't cooperate, uh, and this alien creature, for most of it, is played by Vincent D'Onofrio, except for the finale. So, um, and of course, they stop the alien bug, uh, and then of course Jay finds out that K was training him to replace him uh, for Men in Black, and at the end, Will Smith's character Jay gets a new recruit. And he begins working on the case. Uh, okay, so let's just get on to my likes and dislikes about this film. First of all, the likes. I liked the comedy and the humour that both Will Smith and Tommy Lee, Lee Jones brought to it. You know, Tommy Lee Jones, he was all serious and all like, oh, I don't know, and, and all serious, like going, mm, yes, rookie. And, and also, he had, he was just serious and, yeah, he was entertaining and funny in it. Uh, I like Will Smith how he delivered the slapstick as well with you know because back then he was in a post Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, time and yeah he was just fun in this. Uh, I also liked Vincent D'Onofrio's character in it, the Edgar Cut. Well, the persona he takes on Edgar. Uh, his character is funny and bizarre, and as a kid I thought it was just weird. Uh, I remember watching this as a kid and um, being a bit creeped out by it because it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. Probably my first proper taste of like extreme science fiction. I mean, I'd seen like Star Trek Next Generation and uh, Deep Space Nine, uh, but Men in Black, you know, I just thought 
Is this meant? I didn't know it was a comedy at the time because I was only six when it came out. I do remember seeing this uh, advertised on the telly, like when it was in cinemas. But I never went to see it. But I do remember getting it on VHS when it came out in '97. I think I got it about a year later in '98 on video. Back in the '90s, a film would take at least a year or half a year to come out on video. Uh, probably back in the 80s it took me a bit even longer uh, so um, yeah I like the effects for the time and the effects kind of I think the effects have stood up you know stood the test of time because um, I thought I think for 1997 they're quite good effects um, I also liked uh, the brief cameo from Tony Shell Bound is it Shell Hound you know monk uh, how his how Jay blow how Jay blows it no not Jay K blows his head off and then his head grows back going you insensitive prick you have any idea how much that stings that was funny he was you know a fun character and um, I also like the little insect aliens in it they were funny too um, this is a fun film to watch it's a family film it's PG rated um, and yeah. I remember, you know, Men in Black was clearly a part of my childhood. I used to even watch the um, the animated series that was on the Disney Channel as a kid. I remember watching that. Um, I also think um, Rip Torn, he was good in this as Agent Z. Is he Agent Z in this? Uh, and I also, um, I also enjoyed the character Frank. Frank, a little pug that was like it was a little pug in it yeah chief agent Z and Tony shell shall hound shall hound us about as Jack leads um, yeah I just liked the character of Frank voiced by uh, Tim Bellamy Bellamy um, Frank, a small talking pug, pug like alien. His character was funny. I liked it. He was a he was a cute little dog, and he just had a good sense of humour. Um, and yeah, I think the char that character is fun. This whole film is fun. Um, you know, it didn't take itself too seriously, and there was some good comedy in there, and with sci-fi. And a teensy bit of horror, not too much violent horror, because this is a family-friendly film. Uh, but yeah, I I remember as a kid, fond memories, enjoying Men in Black, watching it again and again. It even had a small part from David Cross, and he even appeared in, uh, in Men in Black too. Um, yeah, I just yeah, it's a fun family film, and I do recommend it. So. Um, Men in Black, what am I going to give this? Oh, the music score. I like that, the music score from Danny Elfman. Um, yeah, okay, so... Um, ratings. I'm going to give Men in Black... Do you know what? I'll give this... Um, oh, I also like that little device they use to erase your memory, too. That's a good device. That would be handy as well if you want to get out of trouble or something. Uh, yeah, uh, my ratings. I'm going to give Men in Black... Do you know what? I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 because I do enjoy Men in Black. So, 4 out of 5 for Men in Black. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Have you seen Men in Black? Uh, if you have, then let's have a discussion in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Uh, all my social media links are down below in the description so you can check all that out. I also have um, two other channels, a horror channel and a Whovian channel, if you're interested in any of those. They will also be linked in the cards above me somewhere here. So, yep. Um, anything else I want to add? Nope, I think that's it. So, yeah. Until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends. Goodbye.